Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So I just did a reaction video to a band called Voice Play, and they did the track Stand By Me. And I said, you know, it's such a legendary song. It's a masterpiece. It's part of our music curriculum. It's just an amazing work of art. And I decided to type it in to see who else covers it. And I found this guy here, Stephen Wilson Jr. And the reason I chose him is, dude, he's had like millions of people listen to this in a very short period of time. So I'm expecting it to be really, really good. The voice play one was awesome. If you're not familiar with that band, it's all a cappella, And it's really fun stuff. Anyhow, this is about Stephen Wilson Jr. So let's give this a go and see what this guy's up to with his super old beat up guitar that's super cool looking, right? <laughs> let's give it a go. I'll interrupt it just the one time. I usually don't interrupt my stuff if you don't watch my channel. I try to listen to the whole thing, but so Benny King also writes wrote Spanish Harlem. Isn't this sound more like an intro to Spanish Harlem than Stand By Me? But uh, just a quick observation. Let's try to get back to the song. When the night, the night has come And all the land is dark And the moon is the only light you ever see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't shed a single tear Just as long And if that sky that we look upon should ever tumble and fall, if those mountains they ever crumble into their sea, into their sea, no, be afraid, no, be afraid. Won't you stand by me? Won't you stand by me? They want you.
shop. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> it's Willy Wonka's gobstopper. I don't know, man. This guy's no joke. Where do we start? So from Trigger, his Willie Nelson guitar going on right there, which was so cool looking, to just a wonderful lick that I didn't expect. And then the guy starts singing, and he's just so connected to the song. I mean, uh, it, it just, I love singer-songwriters. When I first started this podcast, I tried to do Joel Sundays, which was folk music. And the problem was there was only one dude listening to Joel f <laughs> Sundays, and it was me. <laughs> so... I went back to the metal stuff, and I love metal, man. And there's some great stuff I play on this channel that I've been introduced to. But this was just a random search, man. And this guy rocks. So this is the voice of America right here. That This guy, I'm going to look up some other tracks. I mean, I did not expect that. <laughs> that was really, really good. This dude is no joke, and I expect him to have a huge career. Uh, unless he's already a big name. I don't know, but I'm blown away. That was seriously fantastic. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. It's, you know, last little thing maybe is just taking a song that we all know and love. I mean, literally, we all know this track. And being able to put your own spin on it is a remarkable thing to do, period, right? It's hard. You know, we all want to listen to the original. I say that on here. There was a young lady, she did a copy of The Carpenters, and she sounded like as much as she could like Karen Carpenter. And I'm like, why wouldn't I just listen to Karen Carpenter? So this is a total different spin on this wonderful track here where this guy definitely made it his own. He did not do the original. And I respect that. And uh, I definitely, I'm on board. I want to listen to more of his music. If you guys have any suggestions, throw them my way. I'm going to do a little search right now because... I got to do back to back. I loved that. Thanks so much. Over oh, my last thing, actually, the last thing reminds me of. Uh, I said I got to do a back to back. You know, and Buddy Holly first released one of his tracks. A DJ played the same song all day, right, in the booth. And I think the guy got fired for it. But that's what back to back means. It means I can't handle it. Got to listen to the next one. So let's see what else this guy's got. I'm gonna look right now. Thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.